Welcome back here at Cardines Fields. Our pregame show continues. Now time for the manager's show. Joined by Newport Gold skipper Al Leva. Coach, how are you? Good, Nick. How you doing? Not too bad. The Newport Gulls coming off a win last night on the road at Plymouth, defeating the Pilgrims 4-1. to one. And Another sharp night for pitching for the Gulls. Yeah, you know, we got great pitching and we got a couple uh, home runs. And, you know, the weather was just a bad weather night. And it was missing the whole time. And I feel like we had two other guys that hit home runs, but the wind just brought it back in because we hit it dead center. And that was in uh, Ben and also Chris uh, both hit just bombs. And unfortunately, they caught him right at the fence. So, um, you know, it was a good night for us. Uh, you know, we did all we did. Uh, we pitched very well. We hit very well. We didn't play defense as well as we normally do, but um, that didn't hurt us. And, you know, like I always tell everybody that I ever coach, if you can do two out of those three things, you're going to have a good chance to win a ball game. The month of June was an inconsistent one for the goals, Skip, but uh, here in July, particularly as of late, the goals have started to turn things around, winning two out of three uh, for s several stretches, uh, four out of five at one point. And uh, they've gained ground here on these Ocean State Waves who are back here tonight. The Waves have had the goals number, but Newport is knocking on the door. Yeah, I think, you know, if I, if I recall right, I think we won five out of the last ten or the eleven. And that's just goals tradition. I mean, it's like that first month, you know, they're trying to fill their oaks. And I actually told the paper uh, – on Wednesday about it is like you know these guys are so micromanaged you know at college or in, you know in high school you know us coaches have kind of taken that away from them so they just they're almost almost sometimes like robots you know we tell them what to do and everything and here they they learn how to just play the game and um, it usually takes about a month to figure that out and now they're like you know they're calling the first and thirds they're calling the bunt defenses you know I mean I watch them and making sure they're calling the right play and call and, and everything but they're doing a good job. They're doing a really good job. And that's usually traditionally is when the goals start going, you know, around July 4th uh, is when we start going. And, you know, here we are the 15th, I believe. And you can see, like I said, I think we're 8 and 11, I think. So playing well, playing well. One of the uh, later additions to the roster this year is Blake Battenfield uh, and the goals pitching staff. Of course, there's been some injuries along the way. And uh, Newport, uh, happy to have Battenfield on board. He'll get the start tonight against the Waves. Yeah, this will be a second start. Um, you know, when he came in, we had him pitch a relief, and then last start he pitched five innings, and after those five innings, he was pretty tired. And so hopefully he did his running and everything, and hopefully we can get another five or six out of him. Um, and that's what's happened so far is, like, during the stretch, we've been getting great – I mean, I think every game other than one, we've had great uh, starting pitching. So if we can continue, we got a chance to win some ball games. And uh, any def uh, changes in the lineup tonight for the Newport goals? Yeah, actually, we uh, we thought maybe uh, Connor Kaiser would be able to go tonight. He got hit in the thumb, or not in the thumb, but in the pointer finger. The nail bent it back yesterday, and so he was out after the second inning. Uh, we texted this morning, he thought he could go, but after hitting, he, he was still a little sore. So we're going to give him another night off. Um, you know, And if we have to give him Saturday, we'll give him Saturday tomorrow as well. Um, and then hopefully we have him for the stretch, the stretch run. As we get set for that stretch run, first Woodoff's going the way. It's on Sunday. It's the NECBL All-Star Game right here in Newport. Six goals will be uh, attending the, the, the game uh, as voted by the, the managers around the league, as along with the seventh who will be participating in the 60-yard uh, dash. Yeah, you know, we had another great turnout. Um, you know, I think all of them are deserving of it. Um, I felt like one and actually two of them should have made it, but, you know, that's, that's the manager's call. Uh, that voted on it, and, um, you know, they felt somebody else was a little bit better. And, you know, that happens. Um, but for us to have six guys at that particular time, um, I thought was pretty good on our part. I think us and Ocean State were the two leaders at six. Um, I really thought we were going to have seven for sure, maybe eight. But, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles, and uh, I'm just happy that we got six of them. And then we have one that's not in the All-Star game but is per participating in the 60-yard dash and hopefully he'll represent the goals and himself real well. Among those six star, uh, six uh, all-star selections will be uh, two of the goals pitchers on both ends of uh, the rotation. You have a starting pitcher in Jake Cousins and the closer in Blake Cairns. Yeah, you know, and, you know, that's the only bummer, too, is like yesterday, um, even though we're banged up the way we are, um, you know, Cousins, who's been steady at each six innings, seven innings, you know, we had to shut him. We only could give him two innings yesterday to get him ready for the all-star game. Because that's, you know, it's, it's for him to showcase himself, too. So um, yesterday we actually closed him, and um, so that worked out good. Uh, Adam Wolf pitched a great game. Uh, Somerville came in and you know, for two strong innings. And um, he didn't have his best stuff, but he competed. And, um, you know, he got out of jams. And uh, so and then Cousins came in and pretty much shut the door. 
So, um, you know, we had to, um, you know, be less five innings. And um, this was a tough week for us pitching-wise. You know, five innings, we knew we weren't going to get a hit from him. You know, our starter pitcher on Monday struggled in that first inning. And we lost about, so we lost about 10 innings this week that our starters normally go. So we've been just been piecing it together, and I think we're back on schedule. So hopefully after tonight, we should be good back to go to go again. Skip, you've been around the league a long time. You've seen a lot of NECBL All-Star games. You know, could have about 100 scouts here on Sunday. How important is, uh, is this game for the 75 or so players who are participating in the Home Run Derby, the 60-yard dash, and the game itself? You know, I think it just it gives them an opportunity to showcase themselves. You know, it brings all the scouts here. They see them. They're going to see them at their best. Um, you know, hopefully the other managers, I'm sure, did the same thing with their pitching staff. You know, rest their guys to get them ready for this game on Saturday. And, um, you know, because it's important for some of the guys. Some of the guys, you know, they're from bigger schools. They're going to get those looks. But the guys that are from the smaller schools, you know, this is a great opportunity for them because they're going to have that many scouts. You know, maybe during their season they only may have one or two. And, you know, here it's always been a lot of scouts. So, uh, you know, and all the scouts definitely want to come to Newport. So um, I think it's good for them uh, to showcase themselves. Newport Gulls, Al Manage, uh, Manager Al Leva, thanks for joining us here in the pregame show. Good luck tonight against the Waves. No problem, Nick. Thanks, Skip. The pregame show continues. Newport Gulls baseball is next right here on the NECBL Broadcast Network.